By order of the Overseer Council, the following file is level 5 classified. Unauthorized access will be logged and will lead to immediate disciplinary action. Item number Abnormality 6219, Security Level 5. Object class pending. Assigned site, site beep. Site director, redacted. Research head, redacted. Assigned task force, not applicable. Special containment procedures. Abnormality 6219 is contained within the windowless 5555 meter containment chamber with a reinforced locking mechanism. No surveillance equipment is to be put in place within Abnormality's 6219's containment chamber and no personnel are to be allowed to enter Abnormality 6219's containment chamber without authorization from at least 13 members of the Overseer Council. Testing and a full autopsy of Abnormality 6219 is not permitted. Description Abnormality 6219 is a designation given to a hairless and grey-skinned humanoid cadaver approximately 2.5 meters in height. Abnormality 6219 does not possess any reproductive organs or any facial features and instead has a crude SCP Foundation logo carved into its forehead, with various degrees of burnt marks scattered throughout Abnormality 6219's torso and arms. Although Abnormality 6219 has been in Foundation possession since they were expunged, Abnormality 6219 has not shown any signs of decay. Abnormality 6219 is a class 1 semi-ontological anomaly. Note, a semi-ontological anomaly, a semi-hazard, is a disruption of the semiosphere, the medium through which information about reality travels before it is perceived or measured, which results in reality's apparent adherence to some non-real axiom. These types of Anomalies are often handled by the Department of Miscommunications. Any subject mentioning abnormality 6219, whether through speech or writing, as such in this document, will refer to abnormality 6219 as abnormality 6219 instead of its proper SCP designation. Abnormality 6219 was discovered in a previously sealed of underground room in Site 58 during a renovation to expand the west wing of the facility. However, blueprint plans obtained from Site 58's archive shows no mention of the room ever being built. The underground room contains only the following. Abnormality 6219 lying on the ground with its hands rested on its chest. A metal bucket full of an unidentified reddish liquid. A metal placard reading Department of Abnormalities. Multiple drawings depicting a forested region. A long thin silver rod approximately one meter in length. Two golden brown metal ingots of unknown composition. A solid heavy metal door currently inaccessible as the door's handle and unlocking mechanism was removed prior to discovery. Incident Log 1. On beep, the site containing Abnormality 6219 experienced a total power failure, resulting in a massive blackout and multiple Euclid and Keter class containment breaches. Note, this containment breach resulted in 26 injured personnel and 14 casualties, with one personnel reported to be missing. During the blackout, Personnel reported hearing soft crying and faint screaming emanating from Abnormality 6219's containment chamber. When the power was subsequently restored on the site, a D-Class was instructed to enter Abnormality 6219's containment chamber to examine any structural damage. The D-Class reported nothing of the ordinary, but then noticed a note taped on the chest of Abnormality 6219. Note is written by a standard graphite pencil and has been designated Document Abnormality 6219 1. 
document at Normality 6219-1. No one will torture me. My soul will not be in entropy. Behind this mortal bone is a sin you can never atone. I hated the name you've given. I would rather be turned to the woods of the unspoken. The cause of the site wide pyro failure is unknown. Update inconclusive at this time.